Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to dive into the basics of variables in StreamerBot. If you've ever wanted to make your stream more dynamic and interactive, learning how to find and then use those variables is a big first step. So let's get started. First off, let's just quickly talk about what variables are. In simple terms, a variable is like a placeholder that stores information for you to use in your stream automation. For example, you can use variables to display a username, track donations, or even create custom commands. There are actually different kinds of variables. You have global variables, which are persistent across actions, and arguments, which are specific to a particular action. Understanding when to use each type can save you a lot of headaches, but we'll get into that maybe in a future video. For right now, we're gonna be dealing with things that you will usually deal with in your stream, like pulling things from Twitch when an action is triggered on stream. So first, I wanna show you where you would find the variables. Let's go ahead and right click in here and add an action. We're just gonna call this uh, random action test. And then in the group, we'll just call this tutorial action test. <laughs> um, and then hit OK. And then what we're going to do first is we're going to right click in the triggers section and we're going to do uh, Twitch and then we'll just do like a we'll just do a subscription test. OK, just a regular subscription test, any tier. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and simulate an event and we'll just do a random user at tier one. That's totally fine. Hit OK. And obviously I have my alerts already set up here, but if you go into action cues up here and then you go into action history, we're going to right click on the new sub alert and then click inspect variables after run. In here, you're going to see a list of variables that were grabbed when that action was triggered. So we have, you know, all the user information in various different forms. You have target description, which I think is their profile bio and it even tells you the last game that they were playing. So let's take those variables and let's just do a simple message in chat when they sub. So let's right click and first, just to take care of this, let's go down to Twitch and then user and then get user info for target. And then we're just gonna hit user there on the drop down. And so now we're just like getting all the information and then we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to Twitch and then chat and then send message to channel. Now in here, I'm just gonna say, hey, percent user percent, thanks for the sub exclamation point. So when you're in a chat like this, or you know, most of the time, if you're using this in, in a certain dialogue in StreamerBot, you're going to use percent sign, percent sign before and after. Um, and then I'm gonna do a little shout out too. And I'm gonna say, everyone go check them out at HTTPS, blah, 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 twitch.tv slash, and then percent username percent. I want it, I, I'm just gonna keep username is the lowercase version. I think you can also use target user, but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. User uh, is the correct capitalization and then username is the lowercase. Hit okay, save, and then we're going to test this again, simulate an event. Thanks for the sub. And now let's look at the chat. Thanks for the sub. And then it gives the uh, it gives the bio even and like a link. So let's do something else. I actually had ChatGPT give me a bunch of random facts and I stored them in a text file. So what I wanna do is I wanna grab those and use those in a Twitch message. So we're gonna right click here and I'm gonna hit add and then we're gonna call this random fact, right? And then we're gonna store this in the same group here, tutorial action, okay? And then we're gonna hit uh, right click and we're gonna do uh, command. And we'll just make this, we'll create a command called uh, rando fact, okay? And that'll be the command, rando fact. Okay, and then hit okay. I'm not worried about all the cooldowns and all that right now. Um, so let's go ahead and right click in here. And we're going to go down to core and then file IO, and then we're going to read random line from file. 
And now I'm going to quickly find the text file that contains the random facts. All right, I got it. This is randomfacts.txt. And then the variable name is typically random line unless you give it something else. So let's call this rando fact. And then uh, this is a little bit more advanced stuff, parsing variables, auto typing, uh, that kind of stuff. But you can, uh, you can just do one line or you can do multiples. It's not really important here. Let's hit OK. So now we have this rando line variable created, which contains the string of the line that it read. So let's right click and then we'll go ahead and go down to Twitch and then chat and then send message to channel. Uh, we're gonna say like, hey, did you know, we can just do percent sign rando fact percent sign, and then we hit okay. I'm gonna save this and then we're going to test this one. Let's go ahead and test this out in the chat. So command rando fact and then hit okay. Hey, did you know that there is a hotel in Sweden built entirely out of ice? It is rebuilt every year. We can also use this variable in other actions, but we have to set it as a global. So let's go ahead and right click and then go into core and then globals and then global set. So now let's take this global. We don't want it to be persisted over, like when we shut streamer bot down, we don't want this to be still set as a global. We're going to do variable name is going to be rando fact, okay? And we're using the argument rando fact. So now just to test this, let's right click this sub action, copy it, we'll delete it for now. We'll go in, we'll create a new one called fact message, hit okay, paste that in here. And then when we go back to this random fact and we hit core actions and then run action and we run fact message, this action will be run and it will be able to grab this variable still. So let's go ahead and test it. Go rando fact. Hey, did you know there are about 450 types of cheese in the world? 240 come from France. This is really just the tip of the iceberg with variables in StreamerBot, but hopefully this gives you a little bit of a grasp on things. And if you want to learn further, you know, check out more YouTube videos. There's plenty out there. Look at the streamer bot documentation. That's very important. Or do what I do and just ask ChatGPT. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more tutorials on streamer bot and other stuff that I do, playing drums, etc. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye. Have a great time.